In this episode, easy to take emotes using chat and animate them in an overlay on your stream. Hello and welcome to Stream Robot Bytes, where I cover how to set up and to make the most of the awesome Stream Robot. There is one video per topic to make it easy as possible to follow and find. When relevant, sample import code will be provided to make it even easier to get started and to add functionality to your stream. Let's get started with the topic for this video. Setting up the remote domain in Streamerbot is incredibly easy. You just need to go to Servers, Clients, WebSocket Server, and if it's not already, set Auto Start and Start Server. And that's all you need to do. So now that we have Streamerbot set up, we need to download the code that will actually run the remote train. So if you follow the link in the description below to CodePen, you'll see this is actually running the page stuff. You can actually test it at this point. This will automatically try to connect to Streamerbot and to register for messages. And so it can then work. But to download it, if you set export and export.zip, it'll take a little while to prepare and you can download. Once this is downloaded, you can just extract it to where you want. So for example, this stream bot remote train. And we can, at this point, go to the dist folder. And this is a file that we want to be using. So I'm going to open up in a web browser. Again, you can test this with the remote rain. But for us, we're going to take this address and we're going to put it into OBS. So to set up an OBS, we need to add in a browser source. And this is going to be the same if you don't use OBS as well. So I'm going to create a new one called a Motrain. Going to give the URL is the address we've copied just from before. The width 1920 by 1080. You, you can welcome to, to resize this and it'll automatically work with the size that it has if you only want the remote terrain on part of the scene. So you have a bit of control here. And then click on OK and we're set up and ready to test. So now that we're ready to test, just send some messages and we'll see the remote rain falls down. You can do a few messages as well if you want to. And you see it's uh, doing them up to 20 emotes per message by default. So this is an optional part, just to, to share a bit of details about the, um, the code we used. So this is actually forked from a confetti code pen, but I've enhanced it in a different way. So we've got a, a div, which is the area where the uh, confetti is. That's going to take up the full screen by default. And that's pulled from CSS here. Uh, the container itself is uh, put in a particular position by this CSS here. And we also define the size of the emotes. So if you want to change the size of the emotes, you can feel free to change this. So if you want bigger ones, you might want to try 100, 150 maybe. Or you might want to go smaller to 50 um, pixels to make it a smaller uh, emote size there. Over on the right hand side here, we have the way to change the number of emotes per message that we'll react to. So maybe if it's too many um, emotes in messages that are creating a bit of um, clutter on the stream, you might have reduced this down. And what we can see here is some standard code from the Streambot wiki that uh, I've created. And this will connect through to localhost 8080, which is where the WebSocket server is on Streambot by default. If that drops connection, it will try and reconnect. When it connects, it's subscribing to Twitch chat messages. And so what happens then is whenever we get a message from the WebSocket server, we then trigger this event. It then looks to the number of emotes that are displayed in that message. And it then does a check. If it's greater than the maximum number of emotes, it caps that out. Finally, it goes through each emote 
and it triggers the emote rain, which is the basically the function that we've used Copen from before, with some minor modifications. And we push, pass in the image URL of those emotes. We also do a, a console log if for debugging purposes, but that won't be seen in the um, in OBS, but you can see it in the web browser. We actually do trigger the command emote rain command here using set timeout, so there's a, a slight delay. So we each emote in a single message will be delayed by 0.3 seconds um, per emote. So they don't go all in the screen at one time. It, it spreads it a bit nicer. And what we have here is the emote rain itself. And it goes through a single element uh, for the emote rain. You could increase this number if you wanted to have multiple emotes or multiple, so multiple rains for each single emote. And this does a few things. I'm not going to go into this in detail, but it uses some um, animations with um, some libraries which are standard. Uh, and finally, at the end, once the code is loaded in, we trigger the connection which connects it all together. So that, uh, so that runs on startup. Please like and subscribe to be notified of more videos like this. If there's a topic you'd like covered, please do let me know in the comments or also on Discord. Check my Twitch stream to see the bot in action and for other examples. So the links to my Twitch, social media and to Stringer Bot can be found at vrflad.com. Additional links to others that provide Stringer Bot content can be found in the description too. Finally, thank you so much to Nate for making a great bot. Please do consider supporting his Patreon, which is linked from streamer.bot.